Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of Cretaceous Cast. My name's Spencer and I'm going to talk about a ton of stuff here. I'll discuss the Jurassic Park films, news for the production of the new Jurassics, paleontology facts, paleontology news, dinosaur video games, and much more. So today I thought we'd start off this channel off with a pretty cool discovery involving a Ceratopsian species. For the longest time, the western interior seaway was always thought to completely separate the western and the eastern sides of North America. I mean, it's what I was told when I was a kid. Um, well now, around northern Mississippi, a Ceratopsian tooth has been discovered. This tooth is so distinct due to a ridge in the middle, so that's how they're able to see that it's a Ceratopsian tooth rather than just another uh, genus. Um, this is a rather large discovery because that's on the eastern side of the western interior seaway, and Ceratopsians have always been found on the western side. Keep in mind, the seaway was hundreds of miles wide and thousands long. There had to be some sort of a land bridge in between the two sides. So this suggests that there's way more in the ground that we can think of. So, I mean, if we just found a Ceratopsian tooth, what else is there on the eastern side? There's probably types of Tyrannosaurs, maybe new species of Tyrannosaurs. I'm a big T-Rex fan, so I always I gotta pick on that one first. But yeah, it gives a lot for paleontologists to think about. So, this is a bit small of a video to start out with, but um, it was the most important discovery I could think of that's very topical right now that I could talk about today. So yeah, I thought it would be a good way to kickstart my channel. So make sure to sound off your thoughts in the comments and make sure to tell me anything I didn't talk about. I'm always on the journey for the search of more knowledge. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching.